Hey, hey Shalom, bro. Shalom. What'd you say your name was? My name is Colin Hollister. Colin. 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 See you. Colin. Okay, Colin. Um, so, as as the soldier was bringing out, we are out here to teach our people who they are according to the Bible. Because for so long, our people have been lied to. And you can attest to this, right? So you, you're a brother that's probably 50, 52. 52 years old. So you've been around, you've seen a lot, right? <laughs> so when you go back and you look at, at the things that our people have gone through back in the 50s, in the 60s, the 70s, and still a lot of those things are happening to our people today, right? So you can relate to that. Yeah. yeah. So this is this is this is what we're going to do. We're going to show you in the scriptures where these things that have happened to our people, the things that you've grown up seeing, are written in the Bible. That's right. That's right. All right. It's a lot of things that I see. Okay, I read my Bible. Okay. It's a lot of things that I read in the Bible that is true. Okay, I read my Bible all the night. The Bible is kind of the Bible. It's kind of scary too. Okay, I read my Bible the other night. I don't forgot what I was, what page I was reading or what. Sometimes I just open it up and start reading. Right. And they got, and it, it, I had in the Bible like it say, Jesus will come at you very quickly, like a thief in the night. That's, that's right. That's right. They, so they, they, they talk about death. That, that's, give me that in, in first. First of all, I'm, I'm gonna read something to you out of Acts, the book of Acts. All right, because this 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 book, this Bible had been taken away from us for for a certain amount of time. Right. And then it was retaught to us. But what we've got to do is we got to come back to the scriptures and we got to know number one who we are, so that we can answer those questions. Because that, what, what are you talking about? Christ coming as a thief in the night. Who's he coming back it's for? In the Bible. That's that's right. Give me Acts uh, chapter I, I, eight. I read that. Acts chapter eight and verse thirty. Listen to that. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. So so Phil, it, the Bible's talking about Philip goes to this uh, this this eunuch, and he's sitting there and he's reading the prophet Isaiah. He's got the Bible open just like you said. Hello. Okay, Philip. What is his son? Like an angel or something? No, Phil, Who no. Philip, was? Philip is is one of is is one of the men of the Lord. One of the men of the Lord. He's and and he's he's sitting down. He 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 notices a eunuch man who is actually an Israelite. He's he's got the Bible open and he's reading it. And let's see what he says. Read and said, "Understandest thou what thou readest?" So this man has the the book of Isaiah open. The book of Isaiah is a hard book to understand. Right, so he's reading it, and the, and Philip comes to him and he says, "Do you understand what you're reading?" Let's see what, he, what let's see what he says. What you call the book of Isaiah? And he said, "How can I, except some man should guide me?" So he says, "How can I understand this, except a man of the Lord should sit down and 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 teach him?" So this is what we're, this is what we're doing. We out here to teach our people. I know you got a lot of questions, but first and foremost, okay, first and foremost, what we got to teach you, brother. And so that you know who you are according to the scriptures. That's what we're going to do. We're going to break this down for you. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Listen good. Listen good. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses is speaking to the children of Israel. All right. Let's see what he is speaking to them. Give me 28 and, and, and 15. Let's get right to it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 15. We know that Moses is speaking to the children of Israel. All right. Read Deuteronomy to the 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So he says to the children of Israel, if you do not listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, meaning the Bible, the Bible was written for them, right? He says, if you don't listen to them, let's see what's going to happen. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which are commanded this day. So we were commanded to keep God's laws and his commandments. Right. Right? But we know that the children of Israel, it says that they were a stiff-necked, rebellious people, right? And, and here's the thing. Those same people that Moses was, was talking to back then, we are looking at those same people today. Yes. All of us. 
We are the children of Israel. At some point, we have been stiff-necked and rebellious. Right. The only thing is that now we recognize who we are according to the Bible, and now we are awakened to these scriptures, and we know and understand the reason why you see the downfall of our people in the midst of the hoods, projects, and ghettos. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. That all these curses, that, that all these what? Listen to this. Colin, listen to this. That all these what? That all these curses. All these curses. So he says, if you do not keep my law, statutes, and commandments, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He says that they're going to come upon you. These curses. Look, now, understanding that the curses that Moses is getting ready to identify it didn't happen to everybody. Right. It only happened to one group of people. What, what, one what, nation what, what, of people. people I'm looking at them right now. Yeah. 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 I'm looking at them. It happened to you. It happened to your brothers and sisters. It happened to your family. We are your brothers up here. Right. That's That's right. Right. Let, let's, let's see. Let's see what, what happened. What, what were the curses that would come upon these people. And you tell me who they, who they identify right. with. Come on, Read. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So he says cursed. Children of Israel, in the future, you're going to be cursed in the cities. Right. Look around. Who is cursed in the cities? Yeah. We just yeah. came down from the projects. And the, and the young sister a week ago got shot on her front porch. Right. Killed. Oh, dead. Oh. You understand that? And we ride down there and we see little girls out there dancing making up dance routines and things like that. When her sister just got put to death last week. Oh, there was out. not a memorial out there for her. You understand that? That's a curse upon our people. Right. Keep, keep going. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall you be in the fields. When you look at the signs right here, you look at this sign right here, look down at the bottom. He says, curse are you gonna be in the fields? What people were in the cotton fields? What people were in the plantation, in the, in the uh, sugar cane fields, the tobacco fields, the corn fields? Who was it? It was not the so-called white man that you see over in Israel right now. It was not the Chinese man. It was not the Japanese man. It only happened to the nation of Israel. It happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's it. That's right. So you see, we got our, our sisters, our mothers, they out there in the slave fields, in the plantations. Right. Our young men, five years old, they were, five-year-old young man was sent to the cotton fields, and he had to slave in that. For who? The enemy who put us into that captivity. Right. And we don't find out who that damn devil is. Right. Read. Verse, verse 7. Go to verse 68. Let's see how we got there. Let's see how we got to this point. Read verse 68. Deuteronomy to the 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Bible says, Cullen, the Bible says that the Lord was going to bring the children of Israel into Egypt again. Egypt is a Greek word. It means bondage. It means... Is that what Egypt means? That's what... Let's get it. Because the Bible says prove all things. What you say That's Egypt right. means? Egypt means bondage. And we're going to prove it in the scriptures. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with bondage. That's What's another right, word right. for bondage? If you put a man in bondage, if you put him, if you put him to work and you don't pay him, what is it? It's slavery. That's right. That's right. I was just going to say that. Slavery. Slavery. Right. So, remember, we are talking about curses that were going to be upon the children of Israel. That's right. This is a true book. Right. right. Yes. The yes. Bible is a true book, and we're living it right, right now, right before your eyes. Right. Go back to uh, 68. So, Colin, you're a 52-year-old man. Yeah. So, you were... You were um, brought up in the school systems when they were still teaching a little bit about slavery, right? How did our people get to this land? They wouldn't have got them on a boat. On a boat? So let's see if the Bible says that we would come over here by boat. Bring it up! Because that's what you said, right? That that's what did. you were taught. You know what? Watch this. You Watch this. You, you, Go ahead. What you saying? It's something like 
let them move the roots. And, You're absolutely and right. Those, What's the scripture that uh, our name was changed in? Uh, Isaiah. Isaiah. Give me Isaiah 65 and 15. Because you remember what happened in, in roots when when the man was 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 whipping Kunta Kinte on the back. And taking out black women. And what, what was he saying to Kunta Kinte? He's like, what's your name, boy? Told me. And he said, he kept saying, Kunta. Kunta, I'm not And he Kunta. kept whipping him. Until he said, he says, Toby. Toby. I just looked at this movie last night. All praises, all praises to the Most High. So what happened was, who? first of all, who was whooping him? The black man. The, bl <laughs> he had a black, the man. black man. He had a black man. What you absolutely, you absolutely right, and that happened to us over and over again, yeah. and it's still happening to us today. Yeah. So the so-called yeah. white man, he put taskmasters over our own people. Yeah. He gave them yeah. positions. He gave them better living quarters. He gave them those things. The yeah. same as your TD Jakes today. The yeah. same as your Creflo Dollar today. Yeah. The same yeah. as your leaders yeah. today. Yeah. These have been set up to be taskmasters over us to keep us in wickedness, right. to keep us from knowing the truth of who we are. Yeah. So he says that he says he whooped them until he changed his name to Toby. Right. Watch what the scriptures say. Read Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. Right. And ye shall leave your name. And you shall what? And ye shall leave your name. For a curse. For a curse. So he says your your name is going to be forgotten for a curse. What are we talking about? The curses that would be placed upon the children of Israel. Yes, yes. right. Unto my chosen, for the Lord that for the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. So we were going to be called by another name. Right. Do you understand that? Give me Psalm uh, 49 and, and 11. So let's see what the names will be, the, how our names are going to be changed. Who was going to change our names? Read what you got. Psalm chapter 49 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Their yeah. inward thought is that the houses shall continue forever. So the inward thought of the enemies who put us in captivity, that their houses would continue forever. That they, that their pride tells them that they will never die. And let's see what would happen. Read. And their dwelling places to all generations. Uh -huh. They call their lands after their own name. So they call the lands after their own name. So if I if I go up and I speak to four or five different so-called black people and I ask them what is their true nationality, I'm gonna get four or five different answers. Right. They're gonna tell me black, Negro, African they're gonna tell American. me African American. So what he said, Jamaican. listen to this. Read it, read the bottom part again. They call their lands after their own name. After their own names. So remember, we were going to leave our name for a curse, and this is what we were going to be called by, by the, our oppressors who actually co conquered and colonized these lands, and they called it by their own name. So when you look at the name Africa, Africa was discovered by an Italian, a white man named Leo Scipio Africanus. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then you look at America. Africa come, the name come yes. Out. Yes. Leo Scipio Africanus. And then you look at America. America was discovered by Amerigo Vespucci, another white man. That's right. So, so look, because Colin, we we calling ourselves African American. Yeah. So we are saying that we are that we come from the seed of two white men. That's impossible. No. But remember, he yeah. says that we were going to leave our name for a curse. Says what we're doing is we're teaching our people who they are according to the scriptures. We teach it about the curses that would be placed upon the children of Israel, and it's only a certain group of people who fit that. So he says our name. We would leave our names for a curse. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 let, and 68. Let me answer the question because I got to go. Let me ask you a question. Real quick, but I, I need, give me five more minutes because you've got to know this before you leave. That's okay, right. All right. Come on. All right. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. Bring it on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. So the Bible says that the, the Lord is going to bring the children of Israel into Egypt, and we determine what Egypt was. Egypt is bondage into slavery. He says this time he's going to bring you into slavery by ships. That's right. And that's what you said, Colin. You said that we were going to go into slavery by boats. Right. The Bible does not lie. He says we were going to go into slavery by ships, and we were going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. That was a curse that was to be placed upon okay, us. Okay, let me, let me ask you a question before I go. 
I want to. I gotta finish the scripture though for you. I want to know something. Okay. Okay. White men, they came and got, they came and got black people, put them on the ship and brought them back out uh -huh. and, and made them out of slaves. What happened to the white men that did that? Hmm. What oh. happened to them? That's what I want to know. So, what happened to the white so, men that came and got up and brought us over here and treated us like dogs? They don't say nothing about what happened to them. But the Bible tells you what is going to what happen to them. Yes. The Bible yes. tells you what's going to be their what end. To them? Give me, give me what you got. Welcome to the one that give me that and brew. Welcome to the white man that started this. All what praise him. That ain't in the Bible. So, either. so you got, you have a righteous anger right now no, about you saying, because you know that we've been oppressed by certain people. Read they, 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 Baruch. They, they, Baruch they, 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 kept the four. And, uh, listen, listen to this. Listen to the scripture. Baruch chapter four and verse twenty-five. Uh -huh. really? My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. So the wrath that came upon us from God. Why? Because we broke His law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. right. So He sent an enemy against us. Right. So it was God who did that. But He 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 put this enemy over us. Read. For thine enemy has persecuted thee. So thy enemy, who is the enemy? Who is the one who put us on those slave ships? They persecuted us, the so-called white man. But it wasn't just the so-called white man who put us into captivity. All the nations had us into captivity. All of them. The Chinese man had us in captivity. The African man had us in captivity. The, the, uh, the Arab had us in captivity. All these other nations had us in captivity. And you know what? When the Lord comes, he's going to gather up his 12 tribes of Israel, and he's going to destroy those who have put us into captivity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But shortly listen to this. thou shalt see his destruction. But what? Listen to this. Here's your answer. Listen very closely. Read it from the top. Because you got to get this. This is to answer your question. Read. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from, the, your, from God. Why? Why did the wrath come upon us? I got to make sure that you're listening and getting this. Why did the wrath come upon us, Colin? Because we broke his laws and his commandments, the one we given to us. So, so he put enemies against us. Read. For thy enemy has persecuted thee. You, you hear that? Our enemy persecuted us. All types of evil that they put upon us. Read. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction. But shortly you're going to see his destruction. Do you understand that? Shortly you are going to see that man who put us into captivity and all his his children you're gonna see destruction come upon him yes, but sir. here's the thing you've got to be keeping his law statutes and commandments or you're gonna be destroyed with them yeah. do you understand that yeah read and shall tread upon his neck and you're gonna get to tread upon his neck the same way he tread upon the necks of your of your mothers your sisters your fathers your brothers yeah. do you understand that so that's a glorious thing, bro. That's but right. again, I got to make sure that you understand this. You, gave, you, you gave come me, from you gave, the tribe. You gave me a good to Bro my brother, but what you have to understand is you're not going to get to see that unless you come back to your heritage. That's you come right. back you to know. your nationality. You know. That you know that you are actually from the 12 tribes of Israel yourself. And because we went into captivity and the enemy got to destroy us, in turn, we're going to get to destroy them back. But you've got to be keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. And you have to repent. You've got to repent. Give me, give me um, Acts 3 and 19 real quick. Acts 3 and 19. Because I'm sure with the passion that you had, bro, you want to see that day. And it says it's coming shortly. But this is what you must do. Read. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Repent ye therefore. He said, Do what? Repent ye therefore. Do what? Repent ye therefore. So called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, what you have to do is you have to repent. You got to come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. Hey, hey, hey. Right. And be converted. And be converted. Change your, your mind. Let me ask you a question. Finish this real quick. That your sins may be blotted out. That's your what? That your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be blotted out. Do you know if you are in the midst of sin right now? I'm going to show you because we out here to help our brothers and our sisters. We're here to show you the right way. We're up. here to bring out if you are in the midst of sin. Right. Brother, if I love you as a brother, I've got to show you correction. Yes. Okay, well, hold on. I said, like I said, I got to go, but I got a question for you before I go. Go ahead. Define the word repent. 
define that for me. And we're gonna let the Bible do it. it All right, Bring go to up. go to First Kings. Bring it up. Go to First Kings, we, because we're gonna go through this and make sure that you totally understand what repent means and how to do so. Read what you got. First Kings eight and forty six. First Kings to the eight and verse forty six. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. So remember, what he's talking about is sin. He says, if you sin against me. So we know that the children of Israel, we know that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are always in the midst of sin. Right. Read. And thou be angry with, with them. So will God be angry with us? And deliver them to the enemy. Ain't that what happened to us? Ain't that what we've been talking about? He delivered us to the enemy in slavery. Read. So that they carry them away captives under the land of their enemies. Listen to that. He says that we will be carried away captives unto the land of our enemies, America. That's in the Bible. That's what it just said. Read. Read it again. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. Uh -huh. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy. So the Lord was angry with us and he delivered us to the enemies. Yes, Read. Lord. So that they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy. Unto America, yes. unto the four corners of the earth, right. to Brazil, to Haiti, to Jamaica. That's where we were carried away captive. That's why yeah. that, when you're looking at the signs right there and you see all the different the different markings, the green markings, those were areas where we were carried away captive right. into the land of our enemies. Yes. You see that? So now we call on ourselves Brazilian. We call on ourselves Haitian, Jamaican. All of those things come from our oppressors. Why? Because we were in the midst of sin. And the Lord was angry with us. That's why we went into captivity. Well, why, why was he angry with us when we weren't doing that until they came and started messing with us? Because the Lord, see what we've been taught is that the Most High God is an unconditional God. That's not true. Because what we read in Deuteronomy 28 and 15, he says, if you keep my law, statutes, and commandments, he says, if you break them, then I'm going to send curses upon you. So he is conditional. That's right. Do you understand that? Bring it out. So the conditions that he would place upon us was captivity. That's right. Sin. Right. Right. Go back to uh, repentance because I know you got to go, but you have to know what you got to do to come back to this. Right. You got to know what you got to do to get back on the Most High God's side. Read. First Kings to the eight and verse forty six. Uh -huh. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, uh -huh. and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy. You see that? So that's what we've been going over. We sinned, most high God was angry, he put us in captivity. Read. Right. Far or near, uh -huh. yet if they shall bethink themselves. Yet, Colin, if you will bethink yourself. If you will remember that you are not an African American, right. if you will remember that you're not a Haitian or a Jamaican, if you remember that you are of the twelve tribes of Israel, yes, where right. do you find yourself on here? Look at look at this, Colin. Look, look, look. Where do you find yourself on here? Tell me. What what tribe do you come from? This is what this is what God calls us. This is what the other nations call us. Where do you find yourself? What is your father? Judah. You, 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 you what? I don't understand you what? like you do, man. Okay, so American blacks. So, is, was your father, is he considered an American black? Huh? Yeah, I guess so. So then what tribe do you come from? Judah. Let's, let's hear that again. Judah. I, 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 bro, this is the tribe that Christ came from. You got to say that thing with that same type of passion that you had a little earlier. Bro, what tribe you come from? Judah. Huh? Right. Judah. That's what I'm talking about. Right. So that's, right. that's what that's that's the tribe that Christ came from. Yeah. You come from the tribe of Judah, but you do, you come from the nation of Israel. Yeah. So this right. book is about you. Read right. First Kings to the eight and forty seven. Uh -huh. Yet if they shall be thank themselves. So Colin, if you bethink yourself and you know that you are from the tribe of Judah, which you just said. So you gotta remember that. Read. In the land whither they were carried captive. Here in America, here in Macon, Georgia. Read. Right. And repent. And do what? And repent. Uh-huh. And make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them, them away captive. So you gotta make supplication. You have to confess with your mouth that you are and that, that you've sinned. You understand right. that? In this land. Do you understand that? Call it. Yeah, yeah I, I understand. What you're okay. Read. Saying. We have sinned. We have done what? 
we have sinned so, to repent. He says, we have sinned, what? We have sinned and have done it perversely. Uh -huh. We have committed wickedness. So we have committed wickedness. So we have to repent from that sin. Right. Sin is transgression, breaking God's laws and his commandments. Yes. So we've got to repent. We've got to turn away from that sin and come back to keeping his laws and commandments. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.